Everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming in once again from Car Craft Classics. Today we're showing off this beautiful 1972 Chevrolet C10 pickup. But before we get started with that, <clears throat> for any of you possibly watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Car Craft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia. We're about 30 miles north of Atlanta, about 45 minutes from the airport. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. My name is Phil, I'm the owner here, and my cell number is 770-317-1415. You can reach us via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. Click on the inventory page to, be, to see pictures of this vehicle and other inventory just give us a holler if you have any questions and if you're into classic cars and classic trucks neon signs novelty items wheel and tire packages everything that goes along with this hobby please give us a subscribe down below give us a thumbs up really appreciate it and it helps with exposure for small businesses like mine all right so again this is a 1972 it's an original factory short bed regular cab a regular cab short bed and it came out of Tate Georgia just north of here and my customer picked it up I guess early last year and began to build what he calls a driver now what does that mean let's unravel that his goal is to build a truck that could be driven every day but had the reliability and the power of a more modern vehicle. So he went ahead and changed the drivetrain, and we'll get into all the details here in just a minute. But for any of the people out there that aren't familiar with the Chevy C10 line, these are easily the most popular trucks right now, and as far as the classic market goes, trucks are extremely hot. And the action line, as Chevy called it, that was produced from 67 to 72, those are probably the most popular Chevy trucks. Uh, this was a second generation C10. I believe they started in 1960 and ran all the way to 1987. But uh, again, the action line, this line of trucks began in 67 and uh, the run stopped in 72. So design wise, you know, they basically had a two year run, the 67 and 68 looked very familiar, or I'm sorry, very similar. And the 69 and 70 look very sim similar. And then we've got these, the 71 and 72 have this kind of setup. They, they kind of look very close to each other, but the grills are different. So the front grill on this truck, you can see, it's got kind of that egg crate style to it. Just gorgeous. So again, this truck was built and finished, I believe in May of 2023 let's take a peek in the jewelry box and we'll move on to the rest of the vehicle so again this truck was built to be reliable powerful and you know an everyday driver so that original engine whether it was a six cylinder or an eight cylinder i'm not sure what this truck was born with but uh, that was immediately removed and in went a modern LS motor, a fuel injected V8 engine, which is a much better option. It may not look as cool as the old school 350s, etc. But I'll tell you what, if you ever drive one of these classic cars or trucks that have been, as they commonly refer to it, LS swapped, you'll never go back. Uh, just all the old classic car problems are eliminated. The cold starts, the rough idle, the bad fuel mileage, the lack of power, the expensive nature of adding power to some of those old cars and trucks uh, with the old school drivetrain. All that's gone. Power ads are pretty simple on this vehicle, but I've got to guess this truck has between three and 400 horsepower, which is plenty for this vehicle. And this particular LS motor is a 5.3 truck engine. It came out of a 2003 Suburban and it was completely disassembled and gone through. So what you have here is a fresh 
5.3 liter V8 out of again a 2003 Suburban and it's connected to a four-speed automatic overdrive transmission a 4L60E is what it is uh, the part number anyway but uh, so you have a nice modern engine you have a nice modern transmission and this truck can be driven every single day it'll get good gas mileage you won't have to feather the throttle on cold days it'll fire right up uh, and it'll get decent gas mileage of course it's fuel injected so it'll get much better gas mileage than your old 350 and again if you're the hardened purist that doesn't like the modern drivetrain in the old classic I suggest you not drive one with it because it will completely convert you to being a big fan some other goodies under the hood here you have uh, dual master cylinder and a brake booster we've got disc brakes up front and drums in the rear you see down there there's a power steering pump so the truck does have power steering a nice set of ceramic coated headers down there the entire exhaust is all brand new headers all the way back to the tailpipes it's got Borla exhaust on it duels all the way out the entire truck is rust free the gentleman Tim that built this truck he is a very hard marker great guy to buy a truck from because he doesn't buy crap and he's not scared to get down and crawl around on the ground and make sure a vehicle's in good rust free condition see those frame rails down there are rust free there's another accessory everybody ex will be excited about. It's a old Cool Ride AC compressor. All right, so it's got a brand new air conditioning system. You can see all those fittings are new, all the hoses, all the lines are new. Nice clean inner fenders, nice clean firewall. Again, you've got a rust-free truck here. There was some rust I'll talk about in just a minute that was removed when they picked the truck up. And another nice upgrade that they made was to the cooling system. You can see here, no more old steel radiator. It's got a nice aluminum radiator with electric fans. So this baby's built to drive. Built to enjoy. Modern LS swapped V8. Okay, let me get this hood down here. So you guys can see the front end here. I talked a moment ago about the rust that was removed. These trucks were bad around, about rusting around that drip rail above the windshield. And this one had that problem. And that was it. It all cut out. Those are all new drip rails uh, welded in. It's easy for me to say. Brand new windshield, brand new gasket. Everything done professionally. If you've watched some of my videos, you've heard me say before, an old hot rodder who's since passed gave me some advice one day he said phil if you want to know how well a hot rod or classic car or truck has been built look at the drip rails if they're all wavy and filled in with mud run away you can see these are in excellent condition pin straight so it's a really good indication now here's that unforgettable front end again that was used by gm in 1971 and 1972 it's got the correct light bezels, got a good front bumper. And in May, when they finished building it, they painted the truck. You may have noticed, watching just the short part of the video so far, that it's not a normal color. It is a satin blue, a satin denim blue. So we've got a, a nice straight body with fresh paint from 2023 in this satin blue color it is a killer look for a driver quality truck you know, i don't know how many car shows you're going to win up against a fifty thousand dollar paint job but i can tell you it looks killer on this truck let's stick with the exterior you can see that the truck's been lowered i believe it's like a two four drop with a shackle in the rear and a spindle and a spring in the front so it has been lowered to give you that more contemporary look. You can clearly see 15 inch torque thrust wheels, deep dish wheels that give it a nice aggressive look. Brand new white letter BFG tires. That look from the side with those tire wheels and tires, I love it. 
And keep in mind that we are a wheel and tire distributor uh, for U.S. mags, billet specialties, American racing, Riddler, weld wheels. We work with plenty of companies. So if you didn't like the, the wheel and tire choice, we could change that for you. But again, sticking with the exterior, you see bezels and tail lights in the rear, brand new. Rear bumper is not new, but it's in great shape. I love the white lettering across the tailgate up against the, the denim blue, that satin is perfect contrast. Just like the white top to the cab, that's more of a gloss white, just in case that's not coming through on the video. That is more of a gloss white color. New windshield in the front, new windshield in the rear. New gasket, big back window. Body side molding is all new and the side marker lights are new as well. Take a look at those. As you can see, she's got a few little imperfections here and there, a little ding in the, in the rocker that they didn't body work because they didn't want a truck full of mud and they thought the character was fitting for this driver quality build that they were working on. And I can tell you the positives far outweigh the negatives on this, this truck. Yes, it has a few little, again, imperfections here and there, but overall this thing is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. New door handles, new badges. The mirrors do not appear to be new but they're in great shape. There's those new door handles. Side glass and privacy glass is not new, but it's in excellent shape and the windows do roll up and down fine. In the back, you've got a spray-in bed liner. So, it also has back here a bed mat. So let's lift this up so you guys can see bed floor. It's in great shape. Again, there's a few dings. There's a few spots in the bed floor and the wheel wells that have a little ding here and there. So if you're looking for a perfect 10, this may not be for you. But if you're looking for something to drive that's already been built and built right, painted, and is completely finished and turnkey, we've got a great truck for you. Again, this is a two-wheel drive, and it's the highly desirable regular cab short bed that everybody loves. Straight body, fresh paint, LS swapped, 4L60, four-speed overdrive transmission, lowered suspension, 12-bolt rear end, new little treats all around the truck, as I mentioned, wheels and tires, badging, door handles. Spray in bed liner. It's really, really, in the true sense of the words, a turnkey, ready to enjoy classic. Yesterday, we blew a fuel line on this truck while I was trying to shoot the video. That's what that stain is back there behind the truck. That's what that's from, but got that all buttoned up with brand new fuel line brand new clamps you should have no problem at all so I told you all about the exterior the in the undercarriage it still has the factory frame again it has been lowered so the suspension is not original it drives great it hasn't been lowered so much that it makes for a rough ride this this truck is nice it goes down the road great Acceleration is off the chart. You don't expect it in an old C10 like this, but you're definitely going to feel it. Again, body side molding is new. Side marker lights are new. Front glass, rear glass. Now we get into the maybe the prettiest part of the truck. The interior is all new. Again, no rust.
new door panels matching blue just like the exterior new door handle in the inside window cranks there you see the vent for the old classic air it is awesome in here okay what do we got brand new seat cover and don't worry if there's some glare and some shadows that you're dealing with watching the video go to our website when I put the pictures up and I'll make sure that there's no glare or shadows when I do the still shots all right but I wanted to get the video to you as well so just make sure to jump on jump on our website at carcraftclassics.com go to the inventory page and you'll see a large photo of this truck click on it and then there'll be 60 plus pictures walk around video that we're shooting here and then details about the build so what do we have here nice smooth rockers just what you want to see from a rust free truck nice new door hardware new sill plates new carpet new houndstooth style seat cover which would have been period correct for 1972 Got a new steering wheel in there, one of my favorites, the old Comfort Grip steering wheel with the Chevrolet badge in the center. Absolutely love the feel of that steering wheel. Reminds me of the old Corvette steering wheels. What else? What other goodies do we have in here? Hopefully you can see with the glare, but it's got a brand new gauge bezel. It's got a brand new dash pad. And there was a couple trim levels of the Chevy C10 pickup back in 1972 and one of them was the C10 Custom 10 and that's what this model is still got the factory stereo in there there's that new AC look at that gauge bezel brand spanking new set of Dakota digital gauges that that are backlit in blue it looks awesome in here I don't know how much of that you'll be able to see with the sunlight but well, let's give it a shot. Hopefully you can see that, but at night they're all backlit blue. And these gauges are so much better than the factory gauges in that they, uh, you know, much more accurate, much more easy to see. Let's see what we can do here. Got the oil pressure gauge, got a temp gauge, you got of course your tack, got the clock in the center, the speedo, the voltmeter, and of course your fuel gauge. That little screen there, over there that says check engine, because we had the hat, the key half turned. You can use this toggle switch down here to change whatever reading you want on that little LED screen. But we stand by the Dakota Digital Gauges. They are great. All right, let's fire this sucker up so you can hear it run. When they put this 5.3 LS motor together, they did put a little cam in it got a little bit of a chop to her not overly obnoxious but she definitely got a little bump stick in there sometimes with these LS swaps a lot of guys are doing them out there they don't really know what they're doing this one was professionally rebuilt and installed here locally and the transmission came off the rack it was a brand new freshened up I should say transmission completely rebuilt May 23 she's awesome Dual exhaust. I believe 
believe it's two and a half inch. Borla mufflers, ceramic coated headers coming off that block. Customs did not come with a headliner, but the roof in the cab has been painted to match and actually a gloss blue. Absolutely love that interior. And again, there'll be still shots on the website here in 24 hours. So you don't have to deal with the shadows and everything. You see how very nice that interior came out. love the tail end of this vehicle that white lettering again up against that satin blue is killer got the white top to the cab bed is super clean new tail lights new tail light bezels new reverse lights again 12 bolt rear end heavy duty rear end in this truck as well she's ready to roll Again, turn, key, ready to enjoy. 1972 Chevrolet C10, regular cab, short bed. Just the one everybody's after. With a cool custom touch. All right, so, asking price, $39,500. $39, Again, we think that's more than fair with all the work that's been done to this truck. Again, with it being a highly desirable body style, highly desir desirable year make and model, I think that price is more than fair. And let's see, what else can I tell you? $39,500 is the asking price. Give us a holler if you have any questions. And if you want any light customization done, like I said, wheels and tires, if you want to lower the suspension more, I'm not sure. But you guys and gals out there, let me know. We do have the ability to do some work here at the shop. We're not doing full restorations, but light customization is not a problem. The other thing is we can help you with financing. We go through collector car financing. And if you're interested in getting to see if you uh, can get approved, let me know. I can send you a link. You can apply right online and you'll know within minutes if you're approved. And delivery, no problem. Anywhere in the lower 48 states, we can put this thing right in your driveway. Now, if you're outside of the country, uh, we can help with shipping, get the truck to the port. So just give me a holler. Again, my name is Phil. My number is 770-317-1415. I can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. Oh, one other thing I just noticed walking around is that it also has a brand new gas tank. And there'll be more details on my website about the full build, anything I may have forgotten during the video. We'll make sure to get that into the ad so you have all the details you need to make a decision. So give me a holler, shoot me an email, carcraftclassics at gmail.com. Let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be glad to help. Thank you so very much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. God bless America.